everyone this is Meema Dara Manoj welcome to enjoy learning english in the previous session we were discussing some words that were introduced by shakespeare in today's session i'm going to tell you about some phrases familiar phrases that were introduced by shakespeare so without much delay shall we check what are those phrases we'll start with this one in a pickle i think you are in a pickle how can i help you it means that you are in a difficult situation in a pickle means difficult situation so it is introduced by shakespeare in his famous play the tempest i repeat the tempest the context was like this the character named king alon says these words like i've been in such a pickle since i saw you last next one is this one she is a green eyed monster or he is a green eyed monster don't trust him or don't believe her what does it mean it means like he or she is a jealous person don't believe them okay so jealous it indicates what green eyed monster it's also introduced by shakespeare in his another famous play othello and i'll uh, read that context it's a green eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on so it's told by iago now comes this one love is blind you'll be familiar with this one love is blind what does it mean whenever you are in love or you fall in love with another one you will be what uh, you will not be able to uh, what is that see or uh, you will uh, will you will not be able to identify the shortcomings of another person it's in that context you can say like love is blind love is blind the context is like this and he introduced shakespeare introduced this particular phrase in his famous play merchant of venice the context is like this i'm much ashamed of my exchange but love is blind and lovers cannot see the pretty follies that themselves commit next one is this one cold blooded in ancient times this phrase was only used to describe reptiles you know very well reptiles are what cold blooded cold blooded creatures but in 17th century shakespeare he introduced this phrase to describe someone who is emotionally cold so from that uh, period this uh, phrase is used to indicate someone who is very uh, worse murder or uh, what is that uh, that much bad and also vampires or even serial killers shakespeare introduced in as one of his most uh, maybe important or historically important plays king john okay king john and the context was like this thou cold blooded slave has thou not spoke like thunder on my side been sworn my soldier it goes like this so next one is this one bedazzled do you know one thing shakespeare introduced this phrase to describe a particular gleam of sunlight but nowadays we use this phrase to describe uh, something which is very eye catching or even any glitter on any fashionable clothing okay the word is bedazzled and he introduced in his play the taming of the shrew and the context is like this pardon old father my mistaking eyes that have been so bedazzled with the sun that everything i look on seemed green next one is my favorite it's all greek to me what do you mean by it's all greek to me it's what something that is incomprehensible and indistinguishable in short or in simple words we can say i don't understand it's all greek to me can you please explain that means i don't get it or i don't understand okay so it's all greek to me and he introduced shakespeare introduced this particular phrase in his uh, famous play julius caesar the context was like casca the uh, the character casca says but for my own part it was greek to me next one will also be very familiar with you that is wild goose chase what do i mean by this it is never ending or hopeless pursuit that is known as what wild goose chase and uh, shakespeare used this phrase in his uh, famous what is that uh, romantic play in romeo and juliet so the context was like this mercutio says like this nay if our wits run the wild goose chase i am done for thou has more of the wild goose in one of thy wits than i am sure i have in my whole five next one will be the most familiar one all that glitters is not gold 
what do I mean by this? It means like you should not believe or trust or you should not uh, be attracted to someone who is very beautiful or you should not consider the outer beauty of a person. You should always consider the inner beauty of that person. So uh, this particular phrase was introduced by Shakespeare in his famous play The Merchant of Venice and the context was like this. The character Portia says like this, all that glitters is not gold. Often have you heard that told, many a man his life hath sold. Next one is also another popular one, break the eyes. What do you mean by break the eyes? To uh, get to know about someone in a relaxed and comfortable way. Suppose you're in a meeting and uh, if all the people are strangers, you'll feel some kind of inhibition. And if someone cracks uh, jokes at that time, how do you feel? It's, it's what break the ice. Okay, so break the ice. And this phrase was introduced by Shakespeare in his play, Taming of the Shrew. The context was like, the uh, character say, uh, Tranio says, I and if you break the eyes and do this feat, achieve the elder at the younger free. Now comes the last one, a heart of gold. What do you mean by a heart of gold? She's a heart of gold. That means someone who is very kind and helpful. So Shakespeare introduced this phrase in his uh, famous historical play, Henry V. Okay, and the contest was like this. The character Pistol says these words, the king's barcock and heart of gold, a lad of life. So that's it. I hope you have got something from today's session and by now you'll be familiar with the phrases introduced by Shakespeare. If you were not using these phrases, please start to use these beautiful phrases and I'll be very happy. So next time I'll be coming with another interesting video. Until then, it's bye from Vandana.